What's up, what's up, what's going on? This is Alex Lexis of New Gaming Order coming at you with some breaking news. Um, I was just reading as I was getting ready for uh, my duty day that uh, Capcom is susceptible to being bought and sold like a $2 hole in Newark. I'm like, what the hell? Now, it, it's there's just a lot of things that... I believe led up to this. I mean, uh, poor PR in terms of, I think everything started from what Resident Evil, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, some of their online or uh, on disc lock content. Uh, I mean, a lot of things I think kind of stirred the pot with this, but in terms of Capcom being at this state, it's like, man, like, Mm, I even saw some comments where people were discussing what if EA bought Capcom. Uh, I'm, mm, I, I am very scared for this because, you know, it, it can definitely affect some of their flagship franchises. Mainly, the main thing for me is, is Street Fighter. I mean, they done fucked up the Mega Man uh, franchise. Resident Evil has turned into more of an action uh, rail shooter type thing, and it's just, mm, it, it, this is kind of scary, but uh, I just wanted to find out what you guys think about this breaking news that Capcom has lost its defense in terms of being um, taken over by another uh, corporate entity. So um, what do you think led to this? Um, what are your thoughts? I mean, I, I really would like to know. Um, Shout out to the New Gaming Order staff and uh, to my Mugen guys who are looking for Mugen content. Uh, I will make sure that I have some videos on Creator's Corner in like the next day or two. I'm going to have a little more free time so we can uh, get that in there. But um, to Shinwar, Noob, Nelson, I mean, hopefully you guys could cover this if time permitting. Um, you know, what's going on? Why did Capcom get put in this situation or why did Capcom allow themselves to get put in this situation I mean that 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 can be scary and I understand that if for some reason they end up um, like another company decides to purchase some of the IPs I mean they're gonna have to cough up a lot of money to do so but in the same right if they start locking things down with the exclusives and changing things, I mean that that's that's really scary, you know. But I mean, it could keep Capcom alive, or I mean, because we already know that uh, they had a lot of issues in terms of uh, finances, and they couldn't even push out another like full fledged game if if they wanted to because they just didn't have the means to do it. So. I just uh, want to know what you guys think. So this has been Alex Lexis coming at you with a mini short. And I will see you next time on the New Gaming Order Podcast. Peace.